Hello all, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your own power supply module shield as you can see here for Arduino Uno boards. So as you can see, this shield fits over your Arduino Uno and can provide various supply voltages like 12 volt, 5 volt and 3.3 volt that is commonly required for your Arduino projects to power your sensors or your actuators. So let's get started. This is the circuit diagram for the module that I showed you and this is the PCB layout. You can use any of your preferable softwares to generate a PCB layout and then you can proceed with generating a Gerber file. A Gerber file in this software can be generated by clicking on this button and selecting generate Gerber file which will open this window where you can scroll down to click on the button called generate now. So once you click on this button, you will notice your Gerber file getting downloaded as a zip file. As you can see here, it's downloaded. So a Gerber file is something which contains all the required details for a PCB manufacturer to convert this PCB layout into an actual PCB. You can also find this zip file in the link given at the description of this video. So once you have the Gerber file, you can proceed with PCB fabrication. When it comes to PCB fabrication, we always prefer PCB GoGo. So let's take a look at PCB GoGo first. So you can just open your browser and get into their website. Just wait a second. So this is their website, which is pcbgogo.com. And once you get into it, you will be taken to their homepage, which looks something like this. So once you get into it, make sure that you have signed in. I have already signed in since I have been using it for a long time. But if you're a new user, you can sign up and every new user gets 20% discount on their first order. So once you get into their website, you can enter a few basic details of your PCB, like your length of the PCB and the width of the PCB, assuming it is 100 mm cross 100 mm. So let's enter 100 and 100 over here and the quantity, the minimum would be 5. So let's select 5 and I need a two layer PCB with 1.6 mm thickness. So once you enter these basic details, you can click on quote now, which will take you to another page, which will have more details about your PCB. So by default, you can leave all these values to the default thing, but I'm going to change the color of my PCB to blue color just to make it sync with the color of my Arduino Uno board and the rest will remain same. On the right side, there is something interesting. So as I change the parameters on the left side, as I change these parameters, you'll notice that the build time and the price of the PCB gets updated. For example, for this particular settings, they will require three to four days to fabricate our PCB, which is the build time. And the shipping charge would be around $21 if I choose DHL. If I choose China Post, it would further go down to $9. So let's choose China Post and scroll further down where you will see the complete cost required to fabricate your PCB, which is $14. Let's click on add to basket and proceed to the next page where you will be asked to enter the Gerber file that we downloaded. So remember the zip file that we downloaded earlier, we have to just attach it over here. So let's attach the Gerber file and once it's get uploaded, they will take few minutes to verify your Gerber file. And once that is done, you can proceed with submit order now button and it will take some time for them to fabricate your PCB. Few things that you should know about PCBGoGo.com is that they offer professional PCB prototype, PCB assembly and PCB layout services highly specialized in quick turn prototypes, low and medium volume. And they are China's leading quality PCB assembly service providers. So yes, these guys are really awesome. Do give them a try and you won't be disappointed. So after a few days, the PCBs reached my home in a neatly packaged box. So let's wait for that. And here we go. Here is the box that I told you earlier. As you can see, it says China Post. So let me open it with my scoring blade here. And as you can see, the PCBs are neatly bubble wrapped inside. We have two PCBs, the green one, which I will tell you what it is for, but we won't be using it in this project. And the blue one, which is actually our power supply shield. So let's remove the rubber band. And if you remember, we ordered five PCBs and we have received five PCBs here. So everything looks good so far, as always. So the drills, the pads, the wires, everything looks perfect. 
and as you can see the quality of the PCB is also good both of them so these green color PCB is for some other project which is another exciting thing which we will cover in another video so subscribe for circuit digest to know more about that so now let's proceed with assembling the components on this blue color PCB we'll just need few regulators and as you can see here the board is now completely assembled and it's powered by a 12 volt adapter to check if it is working as expected let's use a multimeter and connect the negative to the ground potential and the positive wire to the pin which delivers 12 volts so all these pins will deliver 12 volts these pins will deliver 5 volt as you can see on the multimeter and these pins will deliver 3.3 volt so that's it guys we have a, a built power supply module for Arduino Uno instead of using the onboard regulators on your board you can use this board and power all your external sensors and actuators so that's it guys thanks for watching